might be anyone a lone fool out in the sun your heartbeat of solid gold i love you you'll never know when the daylight comes you feel so cold you know i'm too afraid of my heart to let you go waiting for the fire to light feeling like we could do right be the one that makes tonight freedom is a few weeks <coughs> it was, um, yeah everything's grown up so, uh, there there's a bit of rain so yes yeah, so I've got a, um, a washing line rig out over there Go into a little small bar that's just there. It's only like a couple of foot deep, so uh, I have to be a little bit careful with the old tufty ducks. And then the other one is um, just over there, just tucked against that reed. There's reeds, although I've had a bit of a problem with more hens and bloody keats on that one. So, <coughs> typical Chris, trapped in the wrong sort of birds as normal. But came um, yeah, came yesterday, and then that swim over there on the far bank there, Weedy Bay, I think, or Weedy Corner. Uh, absolutely ripping the shit out of it over there. Over there. Chocolate brown. It's one of those. If you move over there, it's a bit of a tight swim. And if they move off you, which is gonna happen as soon as you go in, then uh, you're a bit in no man's land. So uh, this is like the um, deeper part of the lake. This swim it's called the Pump. Uh, excuse the dodgy umbrella <laughs> in the rain. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the pump. So God knows what happened when the guys in the garden centre come down and um, <laughs> start that up. Apparently, well, I heard it the last time I was here. It's a bit like the jigs of hazard. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pumping for their polytunnels. But yeah, weather's like bang on for it as well. Um, overcast, so we've had a bit of rain on and off, and then um, the other guy, Ian, is um, over there in Peacocks, so yeah, it's all good. So he had a fish last night, oh, it's probably half ten or something I think, also. Eight pound thirteen. It's only one of the little, nearly stopped making this, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's spot on. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Got the rest of today, and then tomorrow morning. Apparently, it's going to rain on and off today, and then it's raining most of tomorrow. So wet pack down by the feel of it, but that's uh, not brilliant. But it is what it is. So um, yeah, one of them in it. I know you're probably going to be able to see this because you can see it. But I don't think you can see. There's a ghosty coming through just there. Uh, yeah, I've lost him now. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. There's been a bit of clouding on that spot over there this morning. <coughs> so, bodes well. See what occurs. Raining. 
coffee and a cap. Suit you, sir. Okay, so Saturday morning. Oh, sorry. Cup of coffee. <clears throat> so you had one last night on the washing line again. On in sick terrain on the snowman. So that was good. Um, there's been a few fish showing sort of <clears throat> up to my right and then there's been and there's been fish on the on the washing line rigs right here. Another look and it's dirty and cloudy. Yeah, it's just the wind. It's dirty and cloudy so um, I'm surprised I've not had a fish off it again so I've just topped it up with a little bit more uh, insectarine half and uh, a bit of pellet as well. So yeah we'll see. Conditions are like absolutely bang on to be fair. Overcast, the wind on the water pushing from well, sort of the back of me. Yeah, it's just what you'd expect to have some fish on, so we'll see. Not an easy water, just because it's an acre doesn't mean it's a pushover. If you're up close and personal with them all the time, so um, yeah, they know you're here. Um, when we got here yesterday, it backed off to the other side of the lake. There's two islands on it, and they sat the other side, um, clouding up and stuff, but they started to move a bit last night. And then, um, like an aerator here. And uh, put that on this morning. I took a four. I had a line on the right hand rod, just over towards the island. Um, and then to put the air rate on it, uh, just after five o'clock. Now it's moved the fish around, and now it's started to move a lot more, a bit more active on this side of the lake. I'm in the deepest part. Um, the guy that's with me has come down as well. He was in the swim off fish last time, and had a fish. Um, I had anything yet, but they've started to move around there as well, so that's good. There's another guy coming, so it's going to be three of us on it. <coughs> There's only four swims, but <clears throat> so it'll be quite busy. I haven't seen that many, but if it goes to the other side, which I'll have to do anyway, hoping that it'll start pushing the fish around a lot more. Um, we'll say that, uh, so they are moving, um, so you never know, dear. Just nice to be out here till tomorrow. Looks like it could be a wet pack down though because the uh, forecast is for rain, but we'll see. But yeah, check in a bit later if I have anything, and um, hopefully it'll be in the day and it'll be easier to film. And uh, yeah, see so how we go. See you later. Bye. So yeah, it's taking you around now to the washing line rig spot chocolate brown so they're in here another pickup yet so I'm not quite sure how this will pick up what's there but um yeah there's fit there goes fish over there look there okay there's two of the ghosters on their way out there's another one there they've been clouding up but yesterday um just sort of over there was absolutely chocolate brown. They're uh, definitely in their troughing, but um, yeah, they're on air now, which is on my spot. But I'm surprised I haven't had a pickup. I might need just to replace it because um, I replaced it last night at like 11 o'clock last night in the dark, so it probably just needs to be. Uh, messed about with again anyway I don't think Ian's up yet he's having a proper lay in he is over there he's got, got geese on him so yeah we'll see what happens hopefully get a chance of another one but we'll see Oh, 
There's one. And we'll jump out. Okay, so yeah. um yeah. It's uh it's like the afternoon now, it's just gone five o'clock. <coughs> Nothing else has happened, um, it's been really quiet actually. Um I've been fish feeding on both the spots clouding up. But um yeah, um not uh, no more action. But yeah, we're we'll, um, going into the last evening, so um, hopefully we'll have something. You never know. Fish are definitely feeding a lot more active. Yeah, the size of the um, the hook as well to see whether that might make a difference. But um, yeah, nothing seems to have uh, done anything as it stands at the moment. But we keep trying and uh, see how we get on. But yeah. So if I have anything, I'll uh, check in again. If not, I, I'll probably check in quickly tomorrow morning. It's due to rain from about one o'clock on uh, so Sunday morning, early hours, mainly throughout the whole day. There's even a yellow uh, warning for thunder. So uh, yeah, just trying to pack down as much of the stuff as I can at the moment and get it in the car, which is literally only sort of like 20 yards away. So um, yeah, that's pretty good. But um, yeah, apart from that. It's um, been really quiet, so uh, yeah, one of them. But uh, yeah, oh, okay. I think I've got to. I'm in. I'm in. So hang on. Get it. Well, so yeah, Saturday night now going into Sunday. It's like 20 to 10, so it's dark obviously now. Well, all but it's cloudy now, we've got a lot of rains coming in. Um, lost another one, so second loss now. Uh, this was one at the net this time uh, on Barbie Silk, so uh. It's my own fault though, I wasn't really probably concentrating trying to toss about with the net. Um, it was a, like a ghost common as well. It wasn't a big fish, but it's not the point, is it? It's another fish, so yes, two to the cart, one to me. Um, hoping something else will um, occur in the night or first thing tomorrow morning before we pack away and head home. So uh, yeah, it's been a good, a good trip. <clears throat> All on the uh, insectarine. Uh, just straight bottom baits now, I've changed, I'm not even using any toppers or snowmen, it's uh, just straight on the bottom with a bit of pellet and they seem to respond to that, so uh, yeah, uh, but uh, see how it goes for the rest of the session and uh, lick me wounds and then get myself ready for when I come back um, next time, but yeah, see what happens through the night, hopefully something, anyway, ta that. Oh dear, it's wet. Very wet. Oh my god. I ain't looking forward to packing down in this shit. <laughs> Never mind. 